Welcome back to Team Favor, back again with another video, and I'm back with another Big Brother video. I'm reviewing this week's Big Brother. I don't know what episodes they are, as I usually don't, because I'm always so unprepared for this, but I'm about to review it. I'm also about to turn on the endurance competition on my phone right now, if it works. Last, I'm going to do this like a reaction video like I did on my last Big Brother endurance competition. Okay. So I'm going to that right now. I'm about to review. It looked like I'm reviewing episodes 27, 28, and 29. I think that's what it is. But anyway, you go to camera four. And so Holly won H O H as we saw. Um, prank week punishments. So Jess, Nicole, and Cliff. They really should just gave us the Jess because her performance was horrible in that deck competition. It was funny though. But anyway. Oh, okay, they're all still in the competition. I'm happy to see that. My prediction for who's going to win this is Jackson or Tommy. I think Jackson or Tommy. I, I kind of think Jackson might win, though. Um, so, so the punishment pies, that was pretty funny. It was all right. I, I wish that they actually had to make a real pie, but, like, that's a waste of a lot of food, and they're wasting a lot of food on this show already. So I can see why they only used whipped cream and pie crust. Even though the pie crust was a waste too. Uh, so yes! wow. I thought somebody fell. Tommy just being extra. Yo, this shit's hard. Yeah, this is hard. So uh, America voted Nick the prankster for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. We don't like him. I'm assuming that they just want Christy out. But I don't know why people don't like Christy. Y'all know Christy's my favorite inside the house right now. I've come to that conclusion. I already was saying that I want her to win, but now I really, really want her to win because I don't understand why so, why so many people dislike her. I don't understand it. But anyway, let me get through this and stop looking at this. So, Nick is the prankster. He nominates Christy. Holly already was going to nominate Christy. So, to me, that was a dumb move. He should have nominated Jackson because he probably could have got the votes to get him out instead of like, I think Tommy would have voted Jackson out. I don't know if Jess would. I actually don't know if anybody would except Tommy. Because Tommy. Oh, Nicole would. Nicole would want to save Jack. Would want to save. But well, Jackson would want a veto. Let's get to that. So Jackson won the veto. Well, first, the Zingbot. So Zingbot came. I actually didn't like none of his Zings this year. I don't know. Like, this season sucks, and I feel like he didn't hit on the real stuff. Like, his. Zing to Cliff was really, really, really mean to me. He said side boob. That's mean. That's like body shaming for real. And if he would have said that about Jessica, it would have been controversy for real. Like if he would have said that about a girl, his his Zing to Nicole was probably the best. But it was still, it, I don't know. His, his Zing to Nicole was good. It was fun. But like, I was gonna say it was mean, but it's funny, you know. It, and you know. So I think his link to Nicole was funny and good. That was the best one. Jackson's, I feel like he could have went more in. Tommy's was accurate. Christie's was so lame. And they had to do that little montage of her chewing on the episode before just so the zing made sense. Everybody, I know everybody peeped that. So Jackson won the veto. I like to call that veto the Frankie Grande veto. Because who remembers in season 16 when Frankie won that veto by itself? But it was easier to play by yourself. So BB producers kind of. They probably were mad that he won that for real. Uh, what just happened? Well, my app just like completely cut off for no reason. Um, but anyway. Uh, Nick campaign. Nick really thought that he was going to like get the votes. He wasn't really that afraid with Christy on the block. Because at this point he thought he was going to have Tommy, uh, Nicole, and Cliff. Well he didn't know if he was going to have Cliff. But he figured like. Cliff would do what what Nicole wanted. I really don't even need this on right now. So Nick campaign talked to Tommy, and then Tommy let him know, um, yeah, I'm voting to keep Christy. I made a promise at the beginning of the week. So Tommy kinda or Nick kinda like was iffy about Tommy at the Nick was kinda iffy about Tommy at this point. I wish Tommy would shut the heck up. He's so extra. Jesus. Anyway, but I wouldn't care if I wasn't filming this video. Uh, so, Jackson is... 
Jackson is stupid because he really thinks that Christy won't target him. Like, who do you think she go target? Who do you think? Like, Jackson wants Jessica to leave next after Nick. I don't know. It's so weird. So weird to me. Um, Christy is playing a great game. Tommy, is his game is kind of unraveling. I gotta hurry up and get through this because I want to watch this competition, y'all. <laughs> so the veto ceremony, of course, more pies. Jackson didn't use the veto. Uh, pie wars. Oh well, Nick was confident. This is after the veto. Nick was confident. Dan Tommy told him about that. They showed a montage of the pie wars with uh, Nicole and Jackson. I gotta admit, that was actually funny. It was actually pretty cool. I liked it. I feel bad they had to clean all that crap up though, cause they probably gonna be finding whipped cream for weeks and weeks and weeks, or at least days and days and days. Does whipped cream harden after a while, or do it just like melt and become like liquid? I don't know. I think it will melt, but I don't know. Uh, so then Nick, after Tommy told Nick, uh, Nick was super mad. He was complaining to Nicole. He was actually really hurt, and Nicole was saying like, mm, maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something else. So I'm thinking maybe Cliff heard the message, told Nicole, and Nicole's like playing it up for the cameras, and she's saying inside the dr too. So then, Nicole kind of reads Tommy's whole game, like says it, like he does this, he voted out Jack, yeah, yeah. he voted out Annalise. Oh, this is an yeah. A little, but it is. A little one. He voted out. He voted out Nick, or he vo he's about to vote out Nick. So, so Nicole's just reading this game. So then she says that she's going to go and talk to Holly and Nick, which she did. Her campaign was pretty good, and she didn't push too hard to me. The only thing is, Nicole, I mean, Jackson and Holly were not changing their mind. Like, they just were stuck on we're getting, especially Holly, because she been wanting Nick out. So, like, and I respect her for that. She want him out, and she she tried to get him out on day 31 or something like that when she was HOH the first time, 33. I don't forget what the date yeah. it was. Then we get a montage with the clowns, which they weren't that funny to me, but they, it probably would be more funny if they edited it better, <laughs> to be honest. Um, the one with Nicole was all right. It was pretty funny. Uh, Nicole, oh, they showed the Nicole clown scare. Nick gave an offer to Jackson and Holly. That just sounded wrong. I'll work for y'all. Work for y'all. That sounds really, really wrong and weird. So I'm glad they didn't take that offer. So then we get the. Why does this keep happening? Like, my whole thing just cut. Well, anyway, let me hurry up and finish this. So. Jury House segment. I don't think Holly and Jackson ever were going to keep Nick even after that offer. I know they showed a little um, DR where Jackson was saying, oh, maybe I want to keep him. But nah, I doubt it. I don't think he really wanted to. Then we get to the. Oh, a Jury House segment. Nothing really special to talk about. Cat was semi flirting with Jack because she had her legs this way, like towards him. And then she moved and was like, sis will get really jealous. And then he's like, uh, she ain't here. I won't be surprised if they did something in that jury house for real. Uh, sis ca or Annalise came, jumped on Jack. She hooked, uh, what's her name first? Cat first. Good. <laughs> then she jumped on Jack. Poor cat. That jury house probably smelled like sex and, I don't know, uh, sweat. <laughs> um, ocean because of Aquaman or whatever. Aqua? Is that, is it, is it Aqua? Yeah, Aqua. Um... Nothing special. Except, I guess the only thing is, Sis is not bitter at all. She still likes Christy a lot. Uh, Jack really respects Cliff's game, Christy's game, and Tommy's game. And Kat does not like Nick's game. And they all thought that Nick was coming home, coming to the jury house next. Eviction time. Christy gave a bad speech. I'm sorry, but that speech, like, forget about it. It was just... If you about to start your speech with a story, like, I don't know. Like, you lose me right then and there. And we know how corny Christy is already. Like, because Christy is fake. At the end of the day, she is fake. She playing a good game, but she's fake. I mean, she lie all the time. And she, like, will convince you that she's not. So I got to call her out on that. Then Nick's speech was very cringeworthy. I like the beginning when he shouted out, you know, um, he, like, awareness for mental health. Going back to his therapist side of him, I guess. But then, when he started talking about Sam, it was cool. But then he talked about Bella, and I was just awkward. That was so awkward. Like, Bella, uh, this is so awkward. I feel so bad for him. Like, I wish Julie would, like, I didn't watch her extended interview. I hope she hints to him, like, stop talking about Bella. Please hint. And Bella even put on Twitter, like, please don't talk about me inside that post-show segment. 
excuse me, post show interview. I can't even edit that burp out because I'm not editing this video. I might actually keep the green screen up too, y'all, because I just want to put this video online like ASAP. Um. Oh, so yeah. Then we get to the non shout outers. So y'all know I like to do this every time, but this is probably my last time doing it because at this point. More people didn't give a shout out than people that did. So Tommy, Jessica, and Nicole didn't give shout outs. So that means the only people that gave shout outs were Cliff and Jackson. Uh, so then Nick was evicted. He knew he was evicted. J Nick's interview was fine. Nothing special. I don't like how he did all that stuff about Jackson. Like, they really fighting hard. Jackson's portrayed. Jackson, like, shut up. Jackson is uh, an asshole. All right? Like, as simple as that. Then they talked about it was about to be a battle of endurance. So I'm like, endurance with six people? That's kind of weird. I don't think they ever did an endurance with that small amount of people, except like when it's a final three endurance. Was, so then it comes back from commercial. We see this wall comp. It looked, it looked cool. I wish they would have did this earlier when there was more people. I think that they probably planned on a, being a battle back with this and having like all of the jury house and the people inside the house like they did at one time. But I think, I honestly think that Big Brother said, nah, because they don't like this season. I honestly think that this was supposed to be a double event of, this was supposed to be a battle back competition. I honestly do. Because then it would have been eight people participating. Wait, no, it's six. It's six right now, so it wouldn't have been eight people participating. It's six right now, it would have been all three people in the jury. No, it would have been all four people. So it would have been ten people participating in this conference. So, yeah, that's what I believe was supposed to happen. So then my prediction was that Jackson or Tommy would win. I was going to write down my whole, like, who I thought was going to leave first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, so I guess I can just say it. I think Jessica will go fall first. When it went on commercial, she looked like she was, like, in so much pain and about to die. Like, her makeup was running. She looked, you know, Julie was like, are you okay? Is everyone okay? She's like, yeah, we are. <laughs> I feel bad for Jess, but she hanging in there. Uh, Jessica leaves first. Maybe even Cliff might go first. Jessica might just be waiting for Cliff to fall. I, I, I'm going to stick with Jess falling first, though. Jess, Cliff, Christy, and then Nicole, I guess. Je Jess, Cliff, Christy, Nicole, and uh, Tommy or, or Jackson. One of them are one. I, I think Jackson might win. Jackson might win. That's going to make them a big target. Jackson and Holly back to back to back to back. HOHs and Jackson just won two vetoes. Like they win in every single competition. It might be in Jackson's best interest to throw it, depending on who's he's left up there with. But at that point, like he already won so many that it really don't matter, really. So maybe he should just win and say forget it. But that's it for this video, y'all. I'm about to watch the endurance competition. I might do a video on it. My my phone keep cutting off, so I don't know if I should actually do it like I did it last time and actually watch it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess y'all will find out though. But that's my prediction for the endurance competition. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later. Actually, my camera's about to die, so I'm not doing the. I'm not gonna be able to do the endurance competition. That sucks. That sucks.